fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Mapleton. I'll Silver. Away. They reined in their horses on a ridge overlooking a crazy quilt, green and brown patched valley. Below them, the mountain trail twisted down the rock ribbed slope and straightened out along the valley floor. Then, from behind the sagebrush, which obscured the wagon road, where it contacted the bottom land, they saw a stagecoach heading for the town of Mapleton. For a moment, the three horsemen sat without speaking, watching the stage as it lumbered across the valley. They were the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan, the 14-year-old boy who was the masked man's nephew. Is that the trail we take, the one the stagecoach is riding? Yes, Dan. As soon as the horse is arrested. Trail plenty dangerous for stage. Uh, You're right. With all those cliffs and sharp turns, anything might happen. Behind that sagebrush in the valley could be hiding a... Outlaws. Ah, men wear masks. Hey, they're riding to hold up the stage. It's an ambush. Come on, Silver. Get up, get up. hardware ready. I don't hear a peep out of either of them. Maybe it's a trick. Come on, we'll have a look. Ah, it's no trick, Dutch. They're dead as nails. Both the driver and the passenger. Yeah, some of that lead we were pumping got them permanent. That's what the boss wanted. That's not all he wants. Give me a hand with the passenger. I guess there ain't much doubt about him being Tom Arnold. Of course there ain't. He's the spitting image of his twin brother, Jack. Hey, what are we supposed to search for? A locket. A locket? Yeah, a gold locket, shaped like a heart. It's got his sweetheart's picture in it. I reckon we'll find it under his shirt around his neck. Hey, Dutch, look. Somebody coming. A masked man riding a white horse. And an engine and a kid. Get the locket, quick. Here it is, around his neck. I can't unfasten the chain. Let me pry the locket off with this knife. There, I've got it. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, what's your hurry? We can stand them off. We'll riddle them from behind that stage. Not me. I've heard about that, hombre. Well, well, give us a hint. It must be something special to make you hightail it so fast. He is. He's the Lone Ranger. The Lone... Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, boy. Get along, boss. Get along there. Who 
Silver Fox. Oh, got hold and a hole. Hold and a hole. Are we going after the outlaws? Steady. Not right now, Dan. First, we'll see if we can be of any help here. Uh-huh. Outlaws get good start. At least we'll know where to look for them. They headed toward Mapleton. Huh? You look. What is it, Kimosabe? Them, them dead. Gosh, both of them. Here's a passenger's wallet. Perhaps it will give us a clue to his identity. Well, that's strange. What you find? This wallet contains several banknotes. Yeah, I don't understand. When we were riding toward the outlaws, we saw them searching a the passenger. They didn't hold up the stage for money. What did they waylay it for? Ah. I don't know, Dan. Oh, wait, here's a letter. It's addressed to Tom Arnold. Oh, and there's the name of the person that sent it in the corner of the envelope. Jane Winthrop. Jane Winthrop. She owns more land than anyone in the county. Oh, uh, what letter say? Tom Arnold and Miss Winthrop were to be married. Golly. Now he's dead. She'll have to be told. That right. Well, what's this? This chain around his neck. Something's been pried from it. The link's been forced open. Say, maybe that's what the outlaws were searching for. Gosh, I, I wonder what it was. Uh, me not know. All right, Toto. Unless... What you think? Here, Silver. Come, Scout. But what are we going to do? First, we'll stand this stage right side up, Dan. Help me fasten a rope to this wheel and to the saddles of Silver and Scout. You bet. Um, what we do then? We're riding to Mapleton, uh, Kimosabe. Uh, you and Dan round up the horses and bring in the stage. I'll ride on ahead and then as much as I can before you arrive. Oh, uh, Matt, plenty dangerous. Outlaws know you. I'll take that chance. Ready, Dan? Ready. All right, Silver, pull. Pull, Scout. <laughs> That's it, big fella. One last tug now. Meanwhile, in Mapleton, Jack Arnold, twin brother of the murdered stage passenger, conferred with Lee Grimes in the latter's law office. Ah, sit down and take it easy, Jack. We're a hole in the floor. Well, what's keeping Dutch and Lefty? Stop worrying. They'll be along when the job's done. Well, it ought to be done by now. They've been gone long enough. <laughs> I should have chained them legs of yours. But I reckon I know how you feel. They know if a man has to wait for his brother to die. I don't like that kind of talk, Grimes. It's true, ain't it? You're sitting by while Dutch and Lefty sent your brother to Kingdom Come. If your knees weren't knocking so loud, I'd uh, wager you'd even fancy you heard the shot. Shut up, I tell you. <laughs> You've got the willies bad, Jack. But to take a shot of liquor and stiffen you up. Yeah. I guess that's what I need. A drink. Oh. Ah. That's better. There ain't no reason for you to get in such a stew. When the boys come back with that locket your brother wears, we'll be in the clover. What's the locket got to do with it? I told you. Jane gave your brother the locket when they were kid sweethearts. He gave her one just like it. The pictures are inside. Well, I still don't see what the locket... If you hadn't jumped jail and lit out of town before all this happened, I wouldn't have to explain it to you. Never mind that. Stick to your story. Well, the kids made a vow that if both continue to wear their lockets when they grew up, they'd marry him. And then my beloved brother went away, huh? That's it. He figured he ought to make a fortune of his own before he was entitled to ask the richest girl in the county to be his wife. <laughs> my noble brother. And you can bet he made the fortune, too. Tom always did get all the breaks. Don't make any difference whether he made it or not. All Jane cares about is whether he's wearing her locket. <laughs> and acting as Tom, you'll be wearing it. Suppose she gets wise. Uh, can't she? You're Tom's twin, ain't you? Yeah. Tom's but... been away from town for five years. And you, longer. Most folks have forgotten Tom had a brother. I reckon he let him forget didn't want to own up to a brother who was a jailbird. Well, your hard luck's over, Jack. This is one break that's right in your lap. I went to a lot of trouble to locate you. Don't worry, Grimes. I don't aim to forget what you're doing for me. You'd better not, Jack, or you won't live to enjoy your sudden prosperity. I'll assign you power to handle the girl's financial affairs just as soon as we're married. That's the ticket. And when you do, I'll manipulate him so as we'll both be rich. Hey, somebody coming. Get in the other room. I don't want anybody seeing you to we're ready. What the... Oh, it's Dutch and Lefty. Did you get the luggage? Yeah, here it is. Yeah. yeah that's it, all right. Take a look, Jack. There's a picture of the girl inside. Yeah. Reckon I better start wearing it, huh? Sure. The sooner you start, the sooner we collect what about the brother and the stage driver? They won't bother you, Grimes. We drilled them both. 
Nothing stands in our way now. I'm not so sure, boss. What do you mean? Lefty and me were interrupted while we were finishing the job. They don't say they... Well, Dutch and me were fishing for the locket when a masked man come along the trail on a white horse. A lone ranger. A lone... Are you sure? He's riding with an engine and a kid. There's no mistake in that combination, boss. Well, if the lone ranger's on a trail, Grimes, I'm pulling out... Shut up! I didn't cook this deal for that masked cat to step in and spoil the broth at the last minute. We ain't licked. Round up all the boys you need pronto. Heard them out on the trail before that stage gets to town. And they ambush the Lone Ranger and the two with them. Yes, that ought to do it. Come on, Lefty. I've got a feeling this is the end for that masked armory. Can't be too soon to suit me. Let's go. Now this time, make sure you finish the job. Yeah. If them bodies turn up in this town, we're finished. They won't turn up. Come on, Lefty. You wear that luggage, Jag? Yeah. Good. We'll ride out to the girls' ranch. I'm introducing you to your future bride, the future Mrs. Tom Arnold, right now. Sometime later, a few minutes before Dutch and Lefty assembled a band of hard-faced men who wore their guns hung low in the fashion of professional killers, the Lone Ranger rode into Mapleton. Scarcely had he guided Silver down the main street of the town when the gunmen, led by Dutch and Lefty, whipped their mounts toward the valley trail. Unseen by them, the Lone Ranger urged his powerful white stallion toward the Jane Winthrop branch. Oh, Silver, oh boy, oh. Easy. This is one job I wish I didn't have to do, big fella. Just a minute. Oh, man. I'm not what you think. But... Now, this letter is yours. Why, yes, I... I wrote it to Tom. Where did you find it? On the trail. I, uh, I'm sorry to say I have bad news for you. Bad news? I, I don't understand. I found Who it. Who is it, Jane? I, I don't know, Tom. Tom? Yes, Tom Arnold, the man to whom I wrote this letter. What? Last hombre. You're Tom Arnold? Of course I am. What business is it of yours? You're sure there's no mistake? I don't know what you mean. Of course there's no mistake. I'd know Tom anywhere. And besides, he's wearing the locket I gave him years ago. Oh? Show it to him, Tom. All right, Jane. Not that it's any of his business. There. I see. The stranger gave me this letter I wrote to you. He said he found it on the trail. Huh? Oh, oh, the letter. Why, uh... <laughs> yes, I, uh, I must have dropped it in the stagecoach. What did you mean, stranger, when... When you said you had bad news for me. I'd rather not say just now, Jane. But I... Did you, uh... Did you meet the stagecoach yourself? No. Tom introduced himself to Mr. Grimes, the lawyer. Then they both came here. Grimes, I... Now, see here, stranger. We've answered enough of your fool questions. I'm inviting you to leave. Very well. But we'll meet again. Adios. If that isn't the queerest thing... Now, don't you worry your head about it, Jane. Come on, Silver! Uh... I've got to go to town, honey. Business. Important business. Meanwhile, shielded by sagebrush in an arroyo some miles from town, the gunman, led by Dutch and Lefty, squinted narrowly at the stagecoach lumbering toward them along the trail and fingered the triggers of their six guns. Driving the stage was an Indian. Alongside, riding his own horse and trailing a paint, was a boy. Don't see the Lone Ranger anywhere, do you, Lefty? Well, maybe he's riding inside the coach. If he was, the kid would be trailing his horse. I reckon you're right. Well, ask Tim, he's escaped us again. They're almost on us. All right, boys, let him have it. Come on, boys, Tom! Riddle him, shoot him down! curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. As guns barked and the tight-lipped, tough renegades whom Dutch and Lefty had rounded up for just this purpose rode to meet the stagecoach, Tano yanked hard on the reins, and Dan quickly brought his mount to a halt. Oh, 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 they come, Tano. You ride. Take Scout. Take Scout with you. Me cover your escape. You ride. Get him up, Scout. She's riding away. Pick him up. Don't let him escape. You not shoot Dan. Look out for the red skin, Lefty. He gets it first. Oh. Good, you got him. Oh, oh, boy. Hold oh, on. What about the kid? I'll let him go. He's scared green. He won't stop this side of the divide. We won't be bothered with him again. All right. Come on, Lefty. We're taking care of Tom Arnold and the stage driver so nobody will ever see him again. I go for the red skin, too? No, as long as we didn't get the Lone Ranger. Maybe we can make use of his engine part. We'll take him back to town with us. All right, boys, hop to it. Down the main street of Mapleton rode a tall man who sat on a white stallion. He was the Lone Ranger. But the clever disguise of mysterious herbs, which he'd applied to his face, and the rough clothes of a cowpuncher, concealed his true identity. He guided Silver to the hitch rail in front of the law office of Lee Grimes. Then, dismounted, he walked toward the rear door. Uh, who is it? I want to talk to you, Grimes. Who are you? That's not as important as why I'm here. I'll get to the point, stranger. I'm busy. I will. What do you want with me? I've uh, just come from Jane Winthrop's ranch. I uh, met a man there who calls himself Tom Arnold. What of it? Well, the story is that he introduced himself to you as Tom Arnold, and uh, you took him to the ranch. That's right. I happen to know that man's an imposter, Grimes. What? What do you mean? That the real Tom Arnold was murdered in a stage holdup. I, I can't believe it. The uh, man I met shared in that murder. How, uh, how do you know? Tom Arnold wore a locket when he was killed. It's now worn by the man who's impersonating him. You uh, didn't see the murder. It uh, might be dangerous for you, Grimes, if Arnold's imposter were exposed. What do you mean? He'd talk. Yeah. You can't threaten me. Who are you, anyway? There's a rope penalty for murder, Grimes. Uh, I'll make it worth your while if you'll just keep your mouth shut. When? After the wedding. Then I'll be in a position to pay you off. I see. Grimes. Uh, Dutch and Lefty didn't ambush the Lone Ranger after all. He was just out to the ranch. He... What's that? Who's this? You came at the right time. You mean to say the Lone Ranger just paid a visit to the ranch? That voice. What about it? Seems to me I've heard this hombre speak before. Couldn't have been at the ranch, could it, when he was wearing a mask? Mask? That's it, Grimes. He's a Lone Ranger. Yeah, disguised like a cowhand. He must have suspected you. Of course he did. He came for proof, and he almost got it. That you know, mister. What do you aim to do about it? Turn you both over to the sheriff? No, no, I won't. Shut up. I don't think you'll turn us over to the sheriff. You seem very sure. I am sure. That's how I run my business. Not leave anything to chance. See this? Why? It's Tonto's. It's a feather he wears in his hair. No, you're getting smart. What have you done with him? The same as we're doing with you. Jump him, boys! What? That's Lefty! Turn him in loose! You heard him, boys! Get him! This will hold you, Grimes! Are you low down, Paul Kent? One for you! Get that hombre! Rush him, boys! Get behind him, Dutch! I'll show him! That's the ticket! Oh! All right, rope him, Lefty. I'll rope him like a bull steer. That maverick's got fists like pile drivers. Grimes! Grimes! Where? Hand me that water jug, Lefty. Right here. Jack, right. as cold as a mackerel. <coughs> what, happened? what happened? That water's bringing him around. It'll take more than water to revive the Lone Ranger. A cloud on the head you fetched him almost put him out for keeps. That's a sample of what's coming to him later. Tie that rope tight, Lefty. Then take him in the other room and leave him with the engine. I got you, Grimes. Oh, my jaw feels like it's busted. Stay with Lefty, Dutch. I want a word with Jack. Sure, boss. Come on, Jack. Let's go in the front office. Right, boss. Well, we're in the clear now, Jack. 
We couldn't have done a better job of snaring the Lone Ranger if we'd have set the trap ourselves. What about the kid? He won't bother us. But says the last he saw the button, he was high tailing for the mountains. Reckon you're right. And all that remains is a wedding and signing these papers. What's that? These papers give me power of attorney and authority to handle you and your wife's affairs as I see fit. All I need to make it legal is your signatures. Oh, I savvy. Did you tell Jane to meet uh, meet you here in my office? Yeah, she ought to be here any minute. She'd better. The wedding don't come off until these papers are signed. You can't stop it now. It's set for today. I'm making the plans around here, Jack. And I say the papers come first. But there's all... That's her now. Remember, your name's Tom. I hope I'm not late, Mr. Grimes. (laughs) Of course not, Jane. Come right in. Tom's waiting for you. Hello, Jane. Uh, Hello, Tom. Well, tonight's the night, eh? It's a mighty big event for Maple and Jane, your wedding. I... Well, I shouldn't keep you waiting on your wedding night. Uh, papers are all here. All you and Tom have to do is sign them. Mr. Grimes, may I may I speak to you alone? Why, certainly. Uh, step into the next room, will you, Tom? Yeah, if you say so. Uh, what is it, Jane? Mr. Grimes, I... I'm not sure I want to marry Tom. What's that? He, well, he seems so different from what he was before he went away. Sort of hard. I, I mean, tough. He's not at all like the Tom I used to know. Well, now, Jane, after all, Tom's been away for five years knocking about. Man's bound to go a little hard living that way, and, well, he did it for you. He's still wearing your locket. Yes, I know, I... I guess I'm just being silly. <laughs> sure. Tom's a fine boy. <clears throat> now, Jean, if you'll just sign right here. I, uh, oh, very well. <laughs> well, that's fine. I think I'd better be getting back to the ranch. I've got a lot to do before the wedding. Will you tell Tom? Of course. Now, don't you worry your little head about it. Thanks, Mr. Grimes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, my pretty lady. Well, there it is, Jack. All I need to make it binding is your signature. And uh, the wedding. I left the door open. It sounded like there wasn't going to be any wedding. Yep. It was thin ice. But it's all set now. But just be careful how you act tonight. I'll be careful. Till after the wedding. (laughs) (laughs) Where's them papers? (laughs) Some time later, when the Lone Ranger regained consciousness and attempted to press his fingers to his throbbing head, only to discover that his hands were bound. Suddenly, he saw a familiar form stir nearby. Hello. Oh, good. You wake now. Well, we we held prisoner in Grimes' house. You get bad blow on head. Yes, I... That bandage. You're wounded. Oh, bullet only gray shoulder. It not hurt bad. Dan, where is he? Oh, me not know. Outlaws ambush us on trail. Me tell Dan to escape. Him ride to mountains. Yeah, I'm glad of that. Ah. We've got to get out of here, Tonto. Ah, almost time for wedding. You mean Grimes and Jack have already left? That's right. Them leave Dutch and Lefty to guard us. We don't need to get free of these ropes. Oh, me try that. Ropes tied plenty tight. Yeah, only hope is Dan. Ah, him come. Me feel sure. It's Dutch and Lefty. Uh, what do you know? The Lone Ranger's got his eyes open, Lefty. Yeah, might as well. Tonight's the last time he'll have a chance to use them. Yeah. As soon as Grimes gets back, we're holding a special party in honor of you two. Yeah, we're going to marry you to a coffin. Well, they don't seem to be very talkative tonight, Lefty. Maybe we ought to teach them to be more social. Sure. Or maybe they're just shy and need a little encouragement. Like the hot end of a burning stick. We don't want them to be wallflowers. Take one of them brands out of the fireplace. Anything to oblige. Follow. Uh-huh. Me here. That Dan signal. Be ready to make a break. Me savvy. Fucking thunder. Dutch, it's a fireplace. Looks like it's blowing up. Let's get out of here. Wait. Wait, I know what it is. The bullets. One of them just rolled on the floor. Somebody's on the roof dropping bullets down the chimney. I'll pump it full of lead. Come on. I'm with you. came as quick as I could. Good work, Dan. Can you cut these ropes? You bet. I've got my knife right here. Hurry. There. There. Now you're free. Let me get Toto. Uh, they come back. Let me fast. We'll be ready for them. Here they come. There. 
You're free, Toto. No, not good. Lefty, the kid. He's free. The Lone Ranger, the engine. Drill him. No, you don't. No. Bless you. I'll you take this. Oh. Oh. Tie them up, Dan. We're taking them with us. Now, Jane, Tom, step up here and join hands. Yeah, that's fine. Now repeat after me. Wait. No, Ranger. Oh, I thought he was... No one moves until I've had my say. Just what do you mean by this interruption, stranger? Sheriff, the man you know is Tom Arnold. is an imposter. He's really Tom's twin. Jack Arnold? Yes. That's a lie. You've got no proof. Jane, have you a letter from Tom? Well, yes, I have one right here. The last one he wrote. And I have a document here signed by Jack as Tom Arnold. We found it in Grimes' office. You can see for yourself that the signatures are not the same. Doggone if you ain't right. And this same document, Sheriff, will prove to you that Grimes conspired with Jack to swindle Jane out of her wealth. That's a frame-up. I don't know anything about it. I'll be the judge of that, Grimes. Then Tom, what about him? Tom is dead, Jane. Dead? What do you mean, stranger? He was murdered along with the driver of the stage that was bringing him to Mapleton. Show the prisoners, Toto. Dutch and Lefty. Grimes and Jack planned the murder, Sheriff. Dutch and Lefty carried it out. That settles it. I am jailing the four of you. And I'm aiming to see you hang. Not me, you won't. Glory be, you won't be using that hand to shoot with again, Grimes. Boys, take care of these hombres. I'll meet you at the jail. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Jane. That's all right, Sheriff. I'm glad he isn't, Tom. I thought Tom had changed and I didn't know him anymore. Now I'm glad I know the truth. I must thank the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.